You know when you're really having a good time in a party and you just want to have fun and get wasted? Or it has been a long day at work and you're exhausted and you crave for just one drink? Or maybe you're in a bad mood, grieving over a breakup, and you just want to forget all about it and get drunk? Well, sometimes things get out of control and you start drinking one drink after another, not counting how many drinks you've had until you pass out. That's called alcohol poisoning which is a very serious condition, sometimes even deadly. It results from the large consumption of alcohol over a short period of time. Patients with alcohol poisoning will need immediate medical attention, so if you suspect someone is having alcohol poisoning, seek emergency help right away. Did you know that 88,000 deaths are annually contributed to the alcohol consumption? So what are the causes of alcohol toxicity? Well, for a start, it's mainly caused by ethanol, which is found in many daily used products like alcohol beverages, mouthwash, cooking extracts, some medications, and certain household products. Other forms of alcohol are the isopropyl alcohol found in lotions and some cleaning products. Methanol, which is commonly found as an antifreeze in paints and some solvents. So let's talk about the mechanism of toxicity, or in other words, how alcohol consumption affects our body. Normally, when alcohol is ingested, like ethanol, it is absorbed in the intestine and goes to the liver through the bloodstream, where it is detoxified by alcohol dehydrogenase, forming a non-toxic aldehyde, which breaks down even further, giving carbon dioxide and water. So if you drink two units of alcohol in one hour, there will be an extra unit in your bloodstream which may exceed the liver capacity of producing enough aldehyde dehydrogenase to detoxify all the alcohol in the blood, which leads to alcohol poisoning. Even when you stop drinking, your blood alcohol concentration will continue to rise for up to 30 to 40 minutes, which will worsen the symptoms if you already have consumed a lot. As for the symptoms that indicates alcohol toxicity, they could be summed up as follows. First, mental confusion, stubbornness, disorientation, and inability to drive. Then the body temperature drops, causing hypothermia. The skin becomes pale and may take on a bluish tinge. Breathing becomes shallow and arrhythmic. The patient may start vomiting, they pass out, and may even get into a coma. In case of methanol toxicity, blindness can take place due to irreversible optic neuropathy. If the alcohol toxicity is not managed quickly, the patient will suffer from its complications, which may include choking, seizures, brain damage, stopping of the breathing, which will eventually lead to death. So, to avoid the toxicity complications, we should be aware of the management criteria. First, we should call the ambulance right away. Then, you try to keep the individual awake, preferably in a sitting position, not lying down, and do not let them walk. If the patient is conscious, please give them water. If not, you should check their ABCs, which are the airway, the breathing, and their circulation. Put the patient in a recovery position and do not give them coffee as it will worsen their dehydration. In case of methanol or ethylene glycol toxicity, antidotes are used, which in this case is Fomipizole, a loading dose of 15 mg per kilogram, then a 10 mg per kilogram every 12 hours. Hemodialysis must be performed to remove the toxic metabolites and reduce the side effects. Also, sodium bicarbonate is given intravenously to correct acidosis and increase the renal excretion of the toxic metabolites. IV dextrose is also given to regulate the hypoglycemia and vitamin B12 as a prophylaxis for vernic Korsakoff syndrome and ensure that the patient maintain a normal body temperature. If the ingestion occurred within one hour of presentation, placing a nasogastric tube and evacuating the stomach content can be very helpful. In patients with chronic ethanol abuse, administer thiamine 100 mg intravenously or intramuscularly to prevent neurologic injury. Administration of medications to cause emesis is not recommended because of the rapid onset of CNS depression and the risk of aspiration. Also, administration of activated charcoal is not recommended for isolated alcohol ingestions because it does not bind to the hydrocarbons or the alcohols, 
If the clinician suspects a contaminant ingestion of other toxic products, activated charcoal may be effective in absorbing these toxins. Forced diuresis is not helpful because 90% of ethanol metabolism occurs in the liver and only 10% of ethanol load is secreted in the urine. To sum up, alcohol must be carefully used by everyone, especially children, to avoid its toxicity. As for my advice to adults, if the party is so hot and you can't keep your hands off the drinks, two shots are good enough for you men and one shot is good for you ladies. So cheers!